it's time to start earning big bucks. You can start calling your mom and tell her you'll be paying for the next family dinner. Because after setting up a big donation button, you'll be bringing in so much cash you will need to get rid of some before your bank starts to think you're running an illegal sweatshop. Every streamer wants a donation button, but the site you want to use for accepting donations depends on which alerts you're using. If you use Stream Elements for your alerts, then you want to use Stream Elements for accepting donations, because otherwise your donations will not show up in your alerts. Same thing with Streamlabs alerts. I will use both of of these in this video and I will tell you when you need to skip ahead. But first, a message from our sponsor. Owned.tv is the best graphics website for streamers. You can buy stream designs which are complete packages, but you can also buy separate elements like subscriber emotes, subscriber badges, you can make things yourself and then download the end result. But the best thing about them is their complete packages. For example, this Brave series, let's click on it. And then you will see that every pack has a complete landing page. And this right here is the best thing about their website. You can preview everything that's inside of their packages. For example, if you click on new host, you will see the alert for new host. If you click on animated ending banner, then you will just get brought to the animated ending banner. This is it. If you click on scene transition, there we go. This is the transition. You can use this widget to preview what's inside of the pack. If you want to buy a pack, you can use my code TVN, which gives you 50% of your price. The link to their website is in my description, own.tv. Check them out. So you're probably streaming on YouTube, Facebook or Twitch, right? Now Twitch shows donation links a bit differently, or at least you have a different choice. When we go to my Twitch channel and scroll down a bit, as you see right here on Twitch, you can set a donation button. But on YouTube, for example, people show it like this. They just put a donation link in their description. And the same goes for Facebook. As you see right here on the right, people just add a description and then say donations through this link. So to get your link, you will first need to decide whether you want to do your donations through Stream Elements or through Streamlabs. I will explain Stream Elements first. So if you are using Streamlabs alerts, or for some reason you don't want to use stream elements, then you can skip to this time in the video because right now I'm going to explain the stream elements donation page. Let's go to Google and then search for stream elements. It's the first page right here. And right now you want to log in with the social account that you're using. These verification codes are a pain in the on the left, you can see revenue and then you can see tipping settings. So we want to click on that because tipping is what we want to set up. They ask you to connect your PayPal account. So just enter your PayPal address right here and then click on connect. And then next they will give you the link through which people should tip to you. It's extremely easy. When you click on it, you will copy it. And it appears that before you can click on done, you will need to click on check. There we go. Now you can click on done and then you will see the tipping page and you can customize it. So as you see, you can click on repeat place image for the banner and then you can just click on upload on the top right click on select files and then you can look for your banner let's show you an example with the free pack right here in the description there will be a link to my discord server and once you're in there you see right here there's a channel called neon overlay pack right here you can download the pack through this link and then once you did that this will be the end result. So when I go to social graphics and then to Facebook, because that's about the same size, you will only see an empty banner right here. But when I change this to all files, you will see a Photoshop file. Let's click on cancel for a minute. You can just go to Photopia, which is a free Photoshop editor, and you can just open the Photoshop file. So let's go to open. This is the pack we were in. Let's go to social graphics, to Facebook, Facebook banner. And there we go. You can click on T on your keyboard and then just change the title or your social name right here. Then you can change your socials and then you can go to file export as and then PNG. Click on save. And right now it has been downloaded. So we can go back to stream elements to the editor. Let's go back again. So we were on the tip settings, right? So we can click on replace image for the banner. Go to upload select files then go to downloads because we downloaded it and then here we go facebook banner let's click on ok now you can select the area but it's fine like this we can click on save and then we can select this click on choose and there we go this is our banner now you can do the same thing with the background you can click on replace image upload a new one and there's an empty background in the neon pack so when you go to the main folder you see screens right here and then you see screen background click on open click on save select it click on choose and there we go now we have the background so once we've done these two things you can see another edit button and when you click on this you see that you go to the second tab so this is the page settings 
and this is the tipping settings. Now the provider is PayPal, we already linked this, but then you can go to page settings, you can change the default currency, the minimum amount, the suggested amount, the maximum length of the message, you can require viewers to log in, and then right here as I said before, you can set certain tipping presets. When we go back to the tipping page, let's refresh it to show what we've done till now. So right here you see tip amount and these are the presets that you can set up for people to just click and then just tip right away. So let's go back. You can change these right here. You can enter a preset, click enter to edit, for example, $5, enter. There we go, it has been added to the preset. Next you can click on design and there you can see tipping page title. If we go back to the page you can see that we have the banner right here but then the title is kind of overlaying it and it shouldn't be there. So let's go back and then just remove the title like this and right here you can add a message to your tipper. So let's add something right here. On the top you will see saved. Now let's go back, let's refresh and then you can see where the message will appear. There we go under the button. So for example, thanks for tipping would be perfect right here. And as you see right here, we already changed the background and the header. And then you can also show a leaderboard if you want. Let's go back. Let's refresh. The leaderboard will be on the right, as you see, the highest tipper within the last week, the last month, or the last year. This is pretty amazing to show if you're open about how much you're earning and who is giving you money and stuff like that. You can also show total amounts, and then right here you can see tip panel setup. This is just where you can copy the link for your tipping page, and then tip moderation. This gives you some settings, like adding a filter, which when you click on it, for example, automatically replaces balance words with emotes stuff like that you can automatically enable text to speech anti-spam and enable manual tip approval this is if you want to be very careful with which tips actually appear on your stream let's close this for now and this is everything for setting up your tips let's refresh it right now and as you see now the text right here is gone and the profile icon is this because it's a dummy twitch account i do not have a profile icon on it but this will just be your profile icon so now that everything has been set up you can just copy this link at the top and then paste it in your youtube or facebook description or add it to a panel on twitch you go to your profile you edit the panels you add a new panel you click on add text or image panel and then you just add an image right here for example from my free graphics pack you add the tip banner you customize it like this i advise you to change it like this so there's no space on the top and on the left and the right and then you click on done there you go you add the link right here you just paste it then you add a message for example thanks for all tips something like that you can see my message right here this is the one i have you click on submit and then you just disable it again and there you go then you have your tip button and then thanks for all tips that was a lot of saying tip but we're gonna continue because if you want to show these tips as alerts on your screen you will want to use stream elements alerts when you're using stream elements tips so to set up these alerts i want to send you to my alerts tutorial for stream elements which you can find on the top right in the cards there i go over all the alerts including the tip alerts and then all the tips you receive will appear as an alert on your stream right now i'm gonna go over the streamlabs tipping page let's go to google again and search for streamlabs there we go the first one is the right one now you want to click on login on the top and then you want to log in with your social account now choose the right one because otherwise your alerts will not work i'm gonna use twitch and i'm gonna log in with a dummy account there we go, I logged in and then on the left you want to scroll down, you go to account right here, you open it and then you go to the settings. Now let's scroll up a bit and right here you see donation settings, this is where we want to be. And right here you can set up a bunch of payment methods but I think most people will want to use PayPal. So just click on it, connect your PayPal, go through the process and then after that you can go to the settings right here. Something I quickly want to mention, let's go back. Right here you see the URL to your tipping page, right? Now when I click on it, it's not going to look like the final version because I haven't linked my payment method yet. But right here you will be able to preview how it will look. Now you see customize here but you can't customize your tipping page if you 
you don't have Streamlabs Prime. This is a big downside and this is the reason why I recommend using Stream Elements for tipping. So if you skip to this part because you want to use Streamlabs but you haven't really set up that much then I really recommend you to use the Stream Elements tipping page and also go to my Stream Elements alerts tutorial because then you will not need Streamlabs anymore. But if you want to use Streamlabs for some reason then of course link your payment method right here and then go to the settings and then right here you can set up a bunch of stuff. You can choose the currency right here. You can set up a minimum amount, the maximum length of the message people can send with the tip. You can also require people to log in to set a donation. Then also a suggested amount and a maximum amount. And you can also enable or disable tipping presets. This is a way for you to suggest certain amounts to your viewers. I think these amounts are okay, but if you want to add higher amounts, for example, or lower amounts, then you can change it right here. You can add an amount, for example, $12. Click on add preset. There you go. On the tipping page, people will see the presets and they will be able to click on one of them to quickly tip a certain amount. Now right here you see preferred lingo. You can change it from donation to tip and I recommend this. Donating usually is something you do to a charity. Donations don't get taxed, but tips do get taxed. So I really recommend you to change it to tip. Then right here you see allow pro viewers. You can enable or disable this. When I go to the tipping page of my main account, right here extra pro, people can subscribe to this and then they can add gifts and effects to their donation. It's your choice if you want to enable or disable this. You can select no, don't let my users contribute to Streamlabs and then they will not see that on the tipping page. You can also change the button color and that's this button right here. That's the tip button. You can change this to your own branding. So for example, for me, I would make it this type of blue because that's my branding. And then right here, donation memo. This is a message to your tippers. So for example, thanks for the support. Port. There you go, people will see this on your tipping page. Then here you can enable or disable the leaderboard. That's this right here. So on the bottom right, you will see the monthly, weekly or all time leaderboard. You can change the banner right here by clicking on choose file. If you want to use the free neon pack that I have on my discord, you can skip to this time because there I'm showing you how to change the branding of the banner, change it to your own name, your own socials, and then you can add that banner right here. Then here you can customize the profanity filter to filter bad words and stuff like that. And then right here you can add custom bad words if you don't want people to call you dumb. Then you just enter that. There we go, blacklist. And then that word will be added to the banned words. So then you just click on save settings. You scroll to the top. You go back to methods. And then here you have your URL. So you just click on it. Then you copy it on top. And there you go. That's your URL which people should use to tip. Now once again I haven't linked my payment method so this is why it looks pretty weird. For you it will look something like this. Now let's go back to Twitch right here. I showed people how to add the stream elements donation link but it's the same for Streamlabs. You go to your profile, you edit the panels, you add a new panel, you click on add text or image panel and then you just add an image right here. For example from my free graphics pack you add the tip banner. You customize it like this. I advise you to change it like this so there's no space on the top and on the left and the right. And then you click on done. There you go. You add the link right here. You just paste it. Then you add a message. For example, thanks for all tips. Something like that. You can see my message right here. This is the one I have. You click on submit and then you just disable it again. And there you go. Then you have your tip button and then thanks for all tips. This is the tip button for Streamlabs. And then this is a tip button we made for Stream Elements. In my opinion, the Stream Elements one looks better. It's more customizable and it's completely free to customize it. So once again, if you want alerts and you want the tips to show up on your stream, then you can go to my Stream Elements alerts tutorial or my Streamlabs alerts tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions about this or about streaming in general, I stream on Twitch every week. You can find my link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.